Yo, if you're wondering why, it's the end of the day. What's well, the end of the day right now? So I had to do the intro at the end of our fishing trip because I didn't do one. I don't know if you can barely see me, dude. Let's try to get some light right here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. So right now I'm doing the intro to this video at the end of the day of us fishing. Today I'm throwing nothing but baits that I don't have confidence in. Whatever baits those are for you, please let me know in the comments below. I want to know what other people are struggling with throwing. And I'm just talking the whole day about how I overcome those struggles because it, it really is a grind, you know. So, um, yeah, man, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, can't, I don't want to tell you about the video, but just I hope you enjoyed the video. Call some fish. Weather was great today. You know it's fall in Virginia, so you don't know if it's going to be freezing cold all day or you're going to get a little heat. Today got a little heat. It went up to 70 degrees. Now the sun's coming down and it's freezing. That's why I got a hoodie on. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking, man. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch y'all on the water. Yo, what's poppin'? I'm gonna start off the day with a little swim jig. I got a little white uh, Divine Six Cents trailer on the back. Painted the tail red. I don't know. Every time I paint something red, it kind of works out. So. Toss this around for a little bit. This like this might be actually my first time throwing a swim jig, so we're gonna see. Oh. Oh. Bro, some just smacked it hard right there. Oh, snap. Back with another non-confidence bait, a little jig. Oh, did I miss him? Oh my God. Oh, that was crazy. I'm tripping. Say anything? Yeah. I think that deep. I'm at the bottom right now. Oh. I don't know. I'm definitely at the bottom. Huh? But you can go over top. Look at him. <laughs> hey, no, no. Go. Oh, got one. Got one. Pig. Ooh, that's your first jig pig. My first jig pig. Let him go. Let him go. Oh Ooh. my God. Hold on. Hold on. Here. I got this. I got. I got. I got oh. this one. You just grabbed your fish. No. This. Stop moving. Stop moving. My first G. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. What? Here. <laughs> hey, first jig fish ever. Today I came out here and I was just going to use confidence, baits that I don't have confidence in. And the only way to get better at those baits is just throw them. And you know, this is my first jig fish ever. It was an amazing bite. Um, straight crush, just hooked on top of the mouth. And now I see why people love jigs because it was like boom, pow, and he was on there. So yeah, we're going to get back to it though, man. That was great, man. So next we're about to try another bait I don't have a lot of confidence in, and that's swim baits. Um, trying to straighten this out. Yeah, swim baits. It's the bull shad, uh, Mike Bukas. Yeah, you turn us in the corner. I was trying to help. So I'm going to try this out next. Hopefully I can catch something on. Let's get it.
So I'm gonna throw another little confidence bait. I mean, bait that I don't have confidence in. It's a little bullshit. Um, you get it from Shop Carl's. They're not that they're inexpensive too. You can find probably at Dick's or you know any sporting good type of store. They probably have them. Um, we're just gonna work this for a little bit. Uh, I think it is a gob, a swim bait, fly bait, yeah. See if I can catch something on it. Uh, it's not casting very far because I guess it's not that heavy. Oh, shit. You just got a bite? Yeah. Get him. Ooh, shit, I missed his ass. Jigs, bro, as soon as they hit it, keep tight lines, tight lines, tight lines. So just a little update. We've been out here for about the sun's a little bright right there. Let me turn a little bit. So I've been out here for about three hours. Hold on, I gotta control the motor right too. Three hours we're headed down lake. Um we tried some deep water fishing today. Um that didn't go too well, but you know, gotta use electronics, you gotta learn them. That's one thing. Another thing I gotta get better at is uh, using electronics uh, to find fish or just find locations where you think fish will be at. So um, I did catch my first jig fish. That was uh, pretty exciting. It's really bright. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, it was pretty exciting. Um, tried to swim jig still. Still got that tide on. I lost my swim bait. Go figures, right? So now I'm throwing a wacky. I just seen a fish jump, but he don't want what I got. Throwing a wacky. Like I so said, we're going to try to head down like a little bit as much as the trolling motor will get us um, do some more fishing. So we got one fish, three hours. Not bad, you know. That's why they call it fishing, not catching. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, one thing I will say though, man, how to get better at confidence baits is you just got to throw them. Like there's no easy way around it, you know. Like I didn't bring nothing that I usually use to catch fish today, really. I kind of just brought a bunch of stuff that I'm uncomfortable with. And um, just wanted to toss it as much as I could. Just build a little comfort in it. And really all it takes is one um, one catch on it to me. Like that jig, that, that jig fish I caught, man, it hit so hard. Boom. My boy mentioned it back. Hit so hard and it was just like, it was pretty amazing actually. So now I'm kind of hooked on jigs. So go figure, right? Um, but yeah, man, that's all I got for y'all right now. Um, like I said, you want to get better at baits you don't like, pick them up and throw them. And that's all you can do, man, really. That's all you can do. Pick them up, throw them. It, bro. Yeah, it's way bass ain't easy. We're gonna get back to it. See what the rest of the day holds for us. I don't know, like I said, I don't know how much battery we got left, but hopefully we get further down and get a little more action and hopefully we catch a couple more fish, man. That'll make that'll make a day. Mitch ain't caught a fish in like two, three weeks, so he really needs to get Struggling. a little bite. Struggling. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah man, let's get back to it. Going on, your boy Bass ain't easy, man. Uh, I had a rough day. Um, did catch, did get confidence in one bait today that I hated throwing. Like, if you're a new angler, like, if you don't start off with it, you won't like it. And that's a jig. So, um, I couldn't really tell the bites. I was hooking into a lot of sticks, but today I caught two jig pigs. I'm gonna go pull those out. I'm gonna show y'all those. Um, yeah, man, it was a good day on the water, man. Two fish, you can't complain, right? That's what they call it, fishing, not catching. So, all right, so four hours later. Um, let's see what we got here. Is that two pounds? Two pounds even. Two pounds even. Clean catch. Don't throw them back yet, bro. I need to get a picture of it. For real? <laughs> you sure? You can get a picture of the big one. <laughs> no, I'm good. Uh, so, two pounds right here. Get a release on this guy. Thanks for biting, bro. Hope you have a wonderful day. He is gone. Now, keep the camera rolling, bro. I'm about to man up right now. Man up and grab I'm not him. let this fish win. Hold that. Grab him, Craig. Bring your big ass here. Mm -hmm. All right, one, two, three. Get him. You gotta, you gotta put, put some back into it.
There it is. My man, my man. And that, y'all, look at the belly on that. I say probably three, three and a half. Maybe 3.5. 3.5. And now we back. Yeah, so scale a little better. So three pounds, it's not that bad. Definitely looks bigger. Like it has a big stomach, little mouth though. I don't know if y'all can see the mouth on that. It's kind of little. So maybe that's why he not done growing yet, but we don't get the little release on him. And uh, yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for watching. Oh, hopefully he doesn't uh, do nothing strange, you feel me? But it's a big game, we're gonna, we're gonna hold the tail on him. Hey, and that's how you end the day. <laughs>